do is uh, show you how to um, simplify when we have I on the bottom. Now, a couple things you guys need to remember when you have I on the bottom. I is our formation to figure out the square root of a negative number. We're going to pick that as negative 1. And the reason why is because negative 1 times any number, you know, is going to make that number negative. So, like, if I have 10, I can rewrite that as the square root of negative 1 times 10. So it would be i times square root of 10. Right? So whenever you have a negative number, we factor out a negative 1 and we make that i. All right? Now, hopefully you should remember when dealing with i, you can never, you can never divide by the square root of negative 1. So if I was to write this as, actually, let's do the easier problem right now. If I was to write this as square root of negative 1, we would have to rationalize the denominator again, right? Because square root of negative 1 uh, multiplied by square root of negative 1 is going to equal positive 1. Comes out of negative 1. So let's say we have i. So to get rid of i on the bottom, we're going to have to multiply by i on the bottom and the top. And the reason why is if I know i equals the square root of negative 1. Well, what is i squared? Well, let's square i squared. Those two cancel out. i squared equals a negative 1. So therefore, what I'm going to have for this problem is 3i over a negative 1, which can reduce down to a negative 3i. Over here, I have I just don't have an i, I have a 5i. But that's okay. All we need to do is get rid of the i. So again, I'm going to multiply by i over i. And here, I have to use my distributive property. So I'll be left with i times 1 is i plus 6i squared all over 5i squared. Now remember, i squared is equal to negative 1. So I have i plus 6 times negative 1 all over 5 times negative 1. Therefore, this now becomes i minus 6 all over a negative 5. And that's how you um, simplify a expression when you have i on the bottom.